Hey everybody, welcome back. So it dawned on me and I've been getting a ton of questions about this El Quimador foosball tournament for $5,000. It's definitely different than any other tournament I've really played in, well, sort of. Uh, it's on a table that is made for kids. Um, you know, it's 150 bucks on Amazon right now, American Legend Challenger table, you can look it up. But it's still for $5,000 and El Gimador is awesome by putting this together. Uh, what they've done is they've outsourced to marketing companies across the United States to set up these little tournaments on this specific table that they've branded with their logo, mostly just stickers and decals, but you get the idea. The way, the reason they're doing it is obviously to promote their tequila company, which is super cool. And by doing foosball, they're really trying to get to a lot of like the soccer players that are out there and you know, those types of people. You just so happen to come into Chicago, which is my back door or my my backyard? We're gonna go with my backyard. Basically there are four qualifying events, uh, four different locations that had I believe 12 teams at each event or 16 teams at each event. Uh, actually 16 teams at each event. Uh, each set of teams played two rounds to get to the final day which is going to have another set of 16 teams if memory serves. So <clears throat> We will have to play essentially three matches before we get into the finals. The rules are totally different. Um, they are not using, you know, IFP, USTSA, ITSF rules. They're using their own basic rules. You know, but standard stuff like no jarring um, and things like that, still a part of the rule base. You are allowed 15 seconds per rod. That goes across all of the rods, including the goalie area. Uh, they're also using like the old USTSA rules to where if, the, if there's like a dead ball infraction, it gets reserved to whoever uh, got scored on last. The dogs are out here having a good old time. So all of those things are super cool. It's allowing for people that aren't necessarily good at foosball to have a good time which is fantastic. Um, I'm all about that for foosball purposes and to promote their tequila company. But, you know, I've also realized a lot of people don't know too much about what's going on. I wanted to make sure that we answer some questions uh, from YouTube and from Twitter that I thought would be pretty helpful. Uh, basically, it's all, winner take all, $5,000. You also win two tables from my understanding, which are gonna be those challenger tables, those American Legend challenger tables. Again, about 150 bucks on Amazon, you can have one. The, uh, the interesting part is the groups of people that did make it through the matches. Um, the good news is, is there's not a ton of top teams. It's very difficult to compete in something like this. And if you're a seasoned player, playing on a table that you're not used to can really hurt your game. And when you're playing against people that are used to playing on hack style, bar style tables, uh, you can really tend to uh, get beat up because you're not used to having to block the rags and the other kind of stuff that comes along with it. Now, I wanted to check out a couple of these questions before, uh, you know, too much happened. So, let's find one here. So, Joe McHugh says, Thanks man, keep them coming and entertaining to watch. Uh, what's the tournament format and how many rounds? So, at the end of the day, there are going to be a full-on 64 teams uh, that will get got broken down to just 16. Uh, those 16 teams are going to compete this Saturday, the 29th, at um, the Emporium down in Logan Square, downtown Chicago. I will be there from 2 to 5 o'clock. That's when the matches are scheduled. So if you're watching this video, please come on down, hang out with me. I'd love to see you. Uh, let's see here. So, Bra Braun Nathan said, how are we planning on splitting the $5,000 between me and Mike? Well, first and foremost, I don't know that we're going to win but I do appreciate the confidence level. Uh, it would be a 50-50 split. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Tom asks, what is that? Oh, if the ball flies off the table, what happens? Uh, it's just like old school rules that, you know, the person that scored on last drops the ball through the hole. Uh, they still are doing the coin flip. You get to choose between ball and side. Uh, the rules are again very very basic there's not too much to them uh, jarring is obviously one of the main ones the time limit is the other uh, the serving is kind of basic you know if you get scored on you get to serve the ball 
Uh, originally, the very original set of rules that I did read said the goalies could not score. They they since changed that um, because it just didn't make any sense. Uh, a couple more things. There's no actual ref specifically on your table while you're playing. They have one ref for two tables. They have two matches running at a time, and he's kind of jumping back before back and forth between the two to make sure nobody's doing anything too crazy. Now this table's so light that jarring is very, very easy to do. Bending the rod to where it's completely warped is very easy to do. It doesn't have the ability to snap back like a lot of tournament tables. So all those little factors make it very difficult to play on this. Uh, come Saturday, I am gonna post all of my matches, obviously a reaction video, and do a ton of videotaping while I'm down there. My best friend, Kurt, is actually gonna come down and run this camera so you guys can see all the behind the scenes, all the kind of like B-roll, and cool stuff that's going on. I'm also gonna have my GoPro with me so it will be over the tables recording every match. You'll get to see all of that play by play. Um, each match also is consisted of 10 minutes. It's a totally timed match. It's not about how many points you score per game. It's about the full length of that 10 minutes. So if you score 40 to nothing, you win 40 to nothing after 10 minutes. So, you know, if it's really close, it can get pretty scary in that last few seconds. Also, they do have a kind of cool overtime rule that it's going to be, so say it's 10-10, time has ran out, it sounds like the game is going to continue on, and then next person to score wins the match. So that's actually terrifying because these types of tables, rags can happen. So it's all going to come down to who has the best reactions, who has the best defense, and who can put the ball in the hole. I just wanted to get all of this information put together for you guys just real quick so you know what's coming up. Um, I've been working really hard and trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to approach this uh, tournament and uh, me and Mike are hoping to do very, very well. We do have some really tough matches ahead of us. Uh, I did see some uh, a post on who we would be playing first. Uh, let me see if I can pull that up for you guys right now. So our first match is going to be against Alba, Joanna, and, uh, Rico, and Manny Sagan. Uh, if we win that match, we go on to play either Andrew Cruz and Russell Ochana, or Bill Ray and Adrian Silva. Um, both of those players are very, very good. So the second round match that we're going to have at the final day on the 29th is going to be pretty intense. So that's going to definitely be one you guys are going to want to watch out for on this channel. Uh, that's going to be really it. The, like I said, the rules are super, super basic. There's nothing too, you know, incredible about them. It's one game, 10 minutes, you win or you lose. It's single elimination, and the winner takes all. So next, you guys are going to see me down on the 29th at Emporium in Logan Square, downtown Chicago. Please, if you guys are in the area, please stop by, cheer for me. I could use the support. This is going to be a very stressful event. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. The like button's down below. Subs subscribe button's down below. And your comments mean the world to me. Maybe I'll reach out on YouTube. Again, thanks, everybody. Happy Foozin'.